Hey guys, Renivo here uh, for another Let's Play. This could be a relatively quick one. I'm planning on doing a couple different ones this weekend. Um, got BlizzCon going on this weekend, so I'm attending, which is awesome. Um, but anyway, in between uh, this week, I've been kind of doing a bunch of uh, my wheat farming as well as trying to figure out my pumpkin farming situation. So uh, first thing that comes up is I finished up the, the bookshelves in here. Um, I also did a lot of resource gathering. Uh, over the last week, as you can see, I have a lot more of my roof filled in. Yay, roof! I still have this retarded thing here because I don't have a pumpkin melon situation going yet. Um, I was able to find some more diamonds, um, some more iron, gold, stuff like that. Tons of tons of resource gathering. Uh, I don't even want to talk about how many picks and stuff I went through. Um, I died a whole bunch of times. I, I really need to get on my game if I'm going to play this in hardcore. Um, those ravines are kind of a pain in the ass with shit falling on your head. Um, anyway, so I have two switches hooked up here, uh, left and right. Um, I'm going to show you what they are in a minute, but let's go ahead and click that one. And we're just going to kind of hang out here, so see what happens. Oh, we have raindrops falling on our head. I might have to do something about that. I hear clumpers. Clump, 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 So, the plan is is that I want to go ahead and finish off my kitchen. Um, as you can see right now, oh look, stuff is falling. Um, the kitchen is kind of starting to get framed out a little bit more. Um, it actually looks a lot cooler now that I'm getting some stuff in here, so. Um, but oh look, I can has weeds. And it just keeps coming. It's just so much of it. There's just so much. La -da -da -da. When is it ever going to stop? Uh, I don't have any in my inventory right now, so let's see what happens. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, no, nope, still more. We done yet? We done? No, nope, no, nope, keep going. Sign. I'll explain the sign thing here in a little bit. It was a needed situation. I think... no, nope, more. <laughs> it just keeps coming! There's so much! Oh, man. Uh, so, anybody who stayed for my 24-hour Let's Play, you guys know that I was creating a wheat farm. That thing was horribly fucking fail. Um, what I've done is I've rebuilt the full-length wheat farm. Um, I don't... I haven't planted the whole thing. This isn't actually a full harvest. Um, but I got, what, t almost two stacks of wheat and two and a half, over two and a half stacks of seeds. Awesome. So, I'm actually going to, I'm not going to plant the full thing up there because it does take a little while and I kind of drone through it a little bit. You see I have some wheat production happening now. So let's go ahead and turn this off and head upstairs. Um, as you can see, no piston sounds. Yay! I like that. Um, and luckily my computer's fast enough to where I don't get lag for what's going on up there. Um, this is the bottom of the wheat farm. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Um, I've been still ghettoing my way up there, but I do kind of have a halfway up there too. Ah, I thought I got rid of that problem. Uh, there is a case sometimes where I will get random stuckage in my canal system. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, I'll fix it later. Um, basically, I have the uh, Generic B and, and Red Eyes have done tutorials on some um, canal systems. Uh, this one's basically a source block that pushes everything down this way. Um, then this carries it if you have it aligned properly, which obviously I don't in some cases, and I have some getting stuck here. Uh, okay, well, I still have to work on this a little bit. It is producing quite a bit, um, but if anything, those are going to lag my game out. 
Um, so I'll have to do something about that. I'll probably change these over to solid blocks instead of full blocks or half blocks. Um, anyway, so canal system going through here, which is really cool. Um, I had to do some weird stuff here to make it drop into this. Um, hence the sign here, else this water actually pushes this way for some reason. I really don't understand that water mechanic where it decided, oh, I'm going to flow that way. So I have a sign there that stops it, and then um, there's a secondary water source there that then pushes everything out to that. So it's kind of an interesting little piece. Um, I use pumpkins to light up the entire middle. Not the entire, about every eight blocks I have pumpkins lighting up the path. Um, the pumpkins are actually in line with those as well. Anyway, so let's jump upstairs and check her out. It's pretty impressive looking if I do say my so myself. Uh, really simple redstone wiring to switch. Um, but yeah, here she be. She's quite impressive if I say so myself. So it's a it's a doozy of a farm. Um, for the the water activation, I tried to go with a slim or a, a really shallow height. Uh, so that's why I have this running across back here. Um, I went with the powered this way. And then I'm not using sticky pistons, I'm using regular pistons um, to save on some space as well. So these just lift up and the water flows down. Uh, this is seven across, seven across, seven across, and then this makes the eighth. So then they just stop and then they drop into this little path. And what they're supposed to do, which sometimes obviously they're not, is get pushed up against that wall and then get carried down the canal system. Um, like I said, I think that half block there might be screwing me a little bit, so I can fix it. It can be fixed. Um, as you can see, I'm running around freely uh, without the soil being tilled underneath me. That's the reason I raped some mines underneath to get the uh, get a ton of fence posts. Um, I created a small little temporary tree hole and went through and had to create some more. Um, but yeah, I made a fuckload of fence posts. Um, but like I said, it's nice because the soil doesn't until. So then when I'm walking around replanting, um, I don't have to worry about tilling it back up. Um, or sneaking around, I can jump around. Yay! Yay! So anyway, um, this is six, by the way. Six is so it works out with my water canal system. Uh, because I need s for seven let's see if I can do this math right um, I have seven six going across here I have to have the last one straight and then I have two to carry it and then I start the pattern back over so that gives me three in between which gives me a nice little walkway in between yay um, all the way up to the back area um, but basically also, um, it's six, uh, six wide here, seven this way. Um, underneath here is actually uh, three water blocks, and that's how um, all of it gets, all the water gets fed. Um, this is enough to hydrate out to actually here, but I went ahead and just did one on both sides, so it covers the whole thing. Um, now when I plant, this is an interesting one, um, because of the way that the water canal system works and the way that I'm trying to help speed up the growth a little bit, I actually don't plant all six. I plant every other one and I start like this. So I get 18, uh, no wait, uh, 21 wheat per uh, flat or per uh, level layer, whatever you want to call it, um, 21 and then times 3 which is 63 and then times 4 is 120, it's a lot, I'm not going to do that math right now, I'm tired, um, yeah, so that's enough to give me um, plenty of wheat basically, so 4 times 63. Hi, Mr. Skeleton. This is why I've been dying. I need to light this shit up, like, bad. Or else... Yeah. Um, shit's not lit up at all. 
I have my shit backwards too. Um, uh, and I'm out of food. It seems like your food bar goes down a lot more in 1.4, by the way, or pre-release 4. Um, anywho, that's the uh, that's the farmland. That's really what I want to show off um, more than anything. This one, I'm going to be working on the melon farm, which is going to go over in that area next. Um, the one big change I did have, that, and you guys probably already saw that, really already. Gosh, this, my mob farm is going to do really well. I can tell. Oh no, oh no. Um, what was I saying? I was going to say something important. Uh, oh, melon system. Um, the reason why this is dropped down here, this floor kind of seemed really pointless. And to be honest, in a month I'm not going to be able to fill it up anyway. Um, so I didn't want to take the time. By the way, here's my vertical wiring going up behind here and then up there where the switches are just in case you were curious um, da -da 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 -da. as long as there's no creatures underneath here because that would suck um, so yeah that level kind of seemed pointless so what I'm going to end up doing uh, I don't know where that spider is I'm going to bring this ceiling up underneath here um, just to kind of make it look a little bit cooler underneath here and I might take a lot of this out um, I haven't decided and they do something really cool over here um, so yeah I'm design wise I'm still trying to figure some stuff out so but it's it's looking a lot better this is kind of like starting to look turn into something I'm not sure what something it's turning into but it's definitely starting to look cool um, like I really like the way that that looks over there it just looks pretty bitchin um, especially now that I'm starting to get a wall back behind it. Um, I'm sorely need to get some more cobblestone because I'm pretty much out at this point. Um, coal as well. Um, I have tons of it, but I've been trying to burn charcoal to make the, uh, to cook everything. And that's just more trees and more trees and more trees and the fence posts. And it's just, ugh. So I have a regular little party going on out here evidently. Yeah, I forgot to light that up after I made it, so that's good because that's right where my farm system, mob farm system is going to go. So obviously they don't have trouble spawning over there. Um, I don't know where the hell that spider is. Sounds like he's on my roof and he's getting burned by the fire. Um, anyway, so drop system works awesome. I'm digging it. Uh, the canal system needs a little bit of tweaking, but for the most part is working. Um, for those that are wondering, uh, the diamond that I found, I went ahead and made a new one because yeah unfortunately texture pack didn't work with changing that so I gotta figure out something to do here um, I really want the the silk touch uh, I want to try to get a mob uh, spawner uh, I have a couple that I've marked off I get a mob spawner and create a XP grinder so I can get a chance a little bit easier um, I'm not going to use my mob farm for that. Um, I want my mob farm to be a source of, of loot, not a source of XP. So I want to try to see if I can get one of those mob spawners and, and create like a, a little uh, mob grinder for XP. Anyway, um, you guys are freaking loud. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh, maybe next episode we'll, we'll tear this guy down. Um, I want to try to get that mob the pumpkin system put together. I'll be building the SEMA Mark II. Um, I'll just show you guys when I end up building it. Um, I have a lot of them to build, so I might do a lot. First one on camera, and then do the rest off camera, just because it's it's a it's a lot of work, um, and it's kind of boring work. And if I talk while I'm trying to wire up redstone, I'm probably gonna fail all over the place. That's funny. Um, yeah. So, a couple more videos this weekend. Um, probably one tomorrow. Maybe two tomorrow. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. Maybe one tonight. Who knows? I might get crazy like that. So, have a good one. And I'll see you guys later. This is just looking bitching so far. I mean, look at that. It looks so much better. It's just badass.
I don't care who you are. It is starting to flesh out. Woohoo! Anyway, take it easy.